Good morning. So here we are again. I'm wearing a tie and it's morning. And as always, I will start by complaining that we are here in the morning. Since Marrakesh, I've been trying to convince the SONIC leaders to do the opening session in the afternoon and combine it with cocktails. And I asked you to help me with that, and so far they have not listened to me. Says something about the role of being the president and CEO. It's one of my four ties. So, 20 years ago, ICANN was tasked with ensuring the stable and secure operations of Internet's unique identifiers. And we stay true to that today. And I actually would like to be one, one person, or so one entity we haven't introduced, is the Internet users of the world. On their behalf, I would like to thank you. Without you and your hard work, we wouldn't have had the internet we have today. Thank you very much to you. And it's kind of remarkable that during 20 years, we stayed true to our mission, to our course. A lot of things have changed in the world since then. One major difference is that we see today is that we now see legislative proposals that has a direct impact on how we do things and how we can make policies. We have to stay true to our mission. We're not a political organization. We perform technical tasks. Our job is to figure out how we can work with governments so when they make legislative proposals, it doesn't have unintended consequences. You can hurt the ability for people to connect to the internet or connect with each other on the internet. A part of my job is to make sure that ICANN.org is ready to perform all challenges in a very transparent way. And sometimes I think that the only thing you think I've done the last year is GDPR. I mean, I have to admit, when we invented the process that came up, uh, it became the expedited PDP, we never done anything like that before. And it shows the strength of the ICANN community and ICANN as an institution that we sort of on the fly invented a process for something we'd never done before, how to make ICANN.org legal. And we did that in nine months, which led up to the temp spec, which we did in such a way so we can turn the whole question back to the community. I thank you for that. You worked very hard together with me to make that possible. And the people in the temporary spec, I'm not worried. I think, I think you're performing a very good job in a very I can is fashion. The only way we can do this is by consensus. But let me mention some of the other things we did during this year. Earlier this month, my CTO, David Conrad, did not break the internet. I'm very grateful for that myself. When we did the KSK, which was the first time ever in the world, there were, I can admit now, if you don't tell anyone, I was slightly nervous. But we performed that. Not ICANN.org, not even David Conrad, even if we would have blamed him if we went wrong, because of you. We helped each other to perform the KSK. And I would like to thank everybody involved who helped us to perform that to the success it was. And now, next time we will roll it, I think it will be less nervous. Some other things we've done is that when I started about two and a half years ago, I sort of, for the first time, went on ICANN.org's web page. And between you and me, I don't think it's good. 20 years of meetings, documents, uh, protocols, reference makes it a maze and impossible to find anything. Does anyone agree with me? Yeah. So, with, with the help of the board, we are working on a project which actually cost $8 million, just saying that, uh, which is called the ITI project, where we are now, very soon, is starting to, you can see, you will be able to, we will be able to demonstrate the fact that it's a, a big step for ICANN, but a small step for mankind, the fact that you can search on ICANN.org, $8 million later. We're middle in the process, we're not done. Another thing I would like to mention is the DAR project. 
The DOOR project is about finding out abuse with the DNS. Uh, and that's something we've been working on for the last couple of years. A third one is something that I know was anticipated from the community, which is called the Open Data Initiative. If anything, any one of you would like to learn more about those, we have sessions about them for the rest of the week. We speak a lot about budgets and finance, and I'm the president and CEO, and I should do that. Uh, it is important, but I also would like to say, we shouldn't forget, it's a means to an end. But together right now, we are looking into many of those things we do, where we have meetings, how we hire people, how we do reviews, which also have a positive effect maybe on the sometimes increasingly fatigue from members of the community. But we should never let those budgetary questions stand in the way for what we're supposed to do, and that is to provide a service for the, for the world through the DNS. It's a means to an end. 20 years. When I came on board, uh, I heard, heard so many stories, and one of the things that I realized, there has been people who's been around for a very long time, and they still look young, most of them. One of the fantastic things with this community is we also rotate. You rotate within your community. And now, taking a step back, I would like to recognize some of those people who are sort of rotating out of their leadership positions. So, Alan Greenberg, ALAC, where are you? Oh. Alan is one, one of my favorite opposites. I, don't, I think we started arguing the first minute we met, and I look forward to arguing going forward again. Heather, don't say you don't hear. Where, where, oh, there she is. I can't see you. You've taken the GNSO one step beyond, and it's really impressive what you've done. You took over fast, and you ran with it. I also, you should know that Heather and I, when, I, when my first ICANN meeting in Marrakesh, Heather was one of those people who told me how this really worked. So if I ever fail, blame her. Um, Tripti. Tripti. Tripti is a fantastic person. And the work you've done within RSAC is really, really important and impressive. The Root Server Operators has a very special place in this ecosystem. Uh, has done, as Shireen said, a fantastic job for a long time. And, and besides what you've done is, is to get a new proposal for a new government's model, you've actually done something which is much far important. You brought them back in our visibility so we see how important they are. ICANN is proud to be one of the root server operators, where we don't, and also instructed, we not call them letters anymore. We call them something else, and I never forget that, always forget that. But as you know, we don't let Trepti go. She's going to be a new board member of ICANN, and I welcome you. One thing I also want to mention, which is dear to my heart, is that, surprising to many, we have done something that we've never done before, and that's a human rights in, um, assessment of ICANN Org. It's only ICANN Org. But what we're doing right now is to try to measure ourselves. So when we do things, we do that according to a principle of human rights. We are a technical organization, but by your instruction in the community, we were performed to do this, and I'm very proud that we're working on it. So we have a busy week. This is day zero, isn't it? I love ICANN meetings. It takes 14 days to do a one-week meeting. We have 320 something, 40 sessions. We are about 3,000 people from 140 countries. We're not a government. We're nothing like anyone else. We are a pure multi stakeholder model where we solve problems that no one has encountered before in world history. And we do that by consensus, by bottom up, by discussions, and by agreeing. 
This is one of the world's biggest peace projects in practice. I'm really proud to be here, and thank you very much for joining me here. Thank you. Thank you.